Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now that's a little more zoomed in. Welcome everybody to White Forest. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. This time we're taking on White Tree Hollow, otherwise known as Unova's Challenge. It's called that in a bunch of different menus, just in case you were confused about what it was referring to. Hey, welcome, welcome. This is Unova's Challenge, the White Tree Hollow. He had it covered, I didn't need to steal his thunder. What would you like to do today? Let's get some info. This facility was made so you trainers can come train your, to your heart's content. Inside you'll find lots of other trainers who also came here to challenge themselves. When you run into another trainer, they'll surely cha challenge you to a battle. Defeat all the trainers that are, on, uh, that are in your way to complete an area. If you want to complete an area, you've got to find and defeat the boss trainer of that area. By defeating the boss trainer, you can advance to the next area. If you want, you can simply battle with other trainers to improve your skills. You can also focus on finding the boss trainer to complete an area. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and test your strength. There's a ton of powerful trainers inside. Oh yeah, once you're inside, you can't use any of the items in your bag. Don't you forget it. Hey, welcome, welcome. This is Unibus Challenge, the White Tree Hollow. I need to change my health items if that is the case. Thank you for reminding me. Gonna give the Salak Berry to, no, not. Not, no, not, not use the Salak Berry. You can't even use the Salak Berry. Why does it have use as an option? Give that to you. Lasagna is your name. I briefly forgot it. <laughs> Gosh, I must be more tired than I realized doing this. Perfect recipe for a memorable video. And we'll give the Dragon Gem to Jade. Still only got two of them. I want a challenge starting in area one. Recover your Pokemon. You look ready to go. Best of luck in there. Oh, you... Huh, I thought you could only bring in three Pokemon. What am I thinking? Okay. Basement one. Out we go. Oh? Hmm? Are you a new challenger? Oh, my. You look pitiful, my dear. That expression on your face is telling me that you've got no idea what to do. I already got an explanation, girl. Uh, fine, whatever makes you feel more important. First of all, you should know that in order to complete an area in advance, you must defeat the boss trainer. You can try to seek out the boss trainer without any leads if you want. However, it's probably a better idea to challenge the other trainers first. A lot of them know quite a bit about the area and might provide you with useful information. Just saying, if you want to talk to me more, I'm very lonely. This place is gorgeous. And I love the music. It reminds me a lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, both musically and visually, with it being all randomly generated. We can talk to you. After we're sure that our team is all in working order. Get your Pokemon and get over here. I'll lend you a hand with your training. You're a Pokemon breeder. Pokemon breeders in this area are quite interesting. I touched on them before. They will always use the Pokemon Happiny, Chansey, and Blissey in some combination, like so. They're an excellent source of training and one of the best experience yields possible from any trainer, even greater than those two trainers in big stadium and small court. The problem is you may or may not run into them. You can't really guarantee it. And I think that you'd probably have less time just running around in grass, getting Audino and training those up. You can just chop them right down because they got five defense and Blissey's got 10. Any physical attack will just blow them right over. We're not getting all that much experience. I know that we're higher leveled, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of all this. I was expecting Pignati to at least get a level up off of two of these little uh, little ones. Yeah, nothing. I hope I was helping training your Pokemon. I'll give you a hint. Apparently the boss trainer is taking good care of a Watchog. How did they become the boss of anything? You couldn't even become a manager at Walmart like that. Hello, newcomer. What are you doing? Take a look around this room. See that strange door? That's a gate to what that leads to a room where the boss trainer waits. The gate is closed right now, though, so you can't go through. First, you'll need to find the gate, uh, the gate trainer somewhere in this area and get him or her to open the gate for you. However, they'll only open the gate for trainers they deem strong enough, so it's up to you to battle the gate trainer and prove your strength. Oh, by the way, the gate trainer of this area is actually me. I'll be waiting for you somewhere in this area, so come find me! She really has nothing going on in her life and just needs to feel good about something. I, that's all this is. It's all it ever was. So you guys, I can avoid you, bobbies. Oh, hi. Well, hello, we meet again. How are you doing? You know you can't use items in here, right? Aren't you and your Pokemon starting to get a bit tired? If you are, seek out a nurse. Just talk to one of them, and the nurse will be able to recover your Pokemon. You'll have to bat you'll have to have a battle first, though. Well, I'll go keep I'm going on ahead. Don't keep winning. I found you like three times now. Stop doing this. 
I really shouldn't have just gotten the explanation from the guy at the gate. They had me covered. They really wanted to make sure that you didn't do that. Uh, nurse, uh... Ah, sure, why not? I'll treat you as a glorified PP recovery. I have a soft spot for the strong. If you can beat me, I'll treat your Pokemon. Usually nurses and doctors only ever have one Pokemon whenever you fight them out in the wild, and I'm pretty sure this is no different. No, you have two Pokemon. The trainers in here don't have particularly strong Pokemon to start out. It definitely gets stronger as it goes up. Pignani gets the level 72 off of a measly Machop. Those Chansey should, that Chansey should be ashamed of itself. Go ahead and heal me. It seems like you can actually save the recovery for later by saying no. That's helpful. So if you find one and you happen to see it, you're not screwed. Hey, newcomer. You finally made it. I've been waiting for you. You know what you have to do to open the gate, right? Let's get this started then. I'll determine whether you have this, the strength to face the boss trainer or not. She's been waiting. She has been waiting all day for this. I like to think that she's maybe a big fan of Blaze and just wants to do it. Your name is, oh, Ali Ya. I, th I thought her name was like Hi Ya for a second and was kind of chuckling at that. The regular trainers in every area have random Pokemon. There's not any real way of knowing what Pokemon or moves they're gonna have. They could really have anything, be it unevolved or fully evolved or whatever. So nothing, no real strategy there. Just kind of have a well-rounded team that can deal with everything like you probably do if you've made it this far. Good use for your in-game team. She's using a Lillipup on us. This is just funny. You were wonderful. I lost. You're pretty good, you know? With that kind of strength, you should be okay. I'll open the gate for you. Shazam! The real battle awaits you. The boss trainer is the strongest trainer in this area with a watchdog. You all should be ashamed. Here we are! It's a Pokemon breeder. Welcome to the White Tree Hollow, newcomer. Looks like the gate trainer recognized your abilities. Now it's time for me to evaluate just how good you are. Don't hold back against me, let's battle. While the regular trainers use randomly generated Pokemon, the boss trainers have set teams that can be learned. They have set teams that can be learned. So if you fought, say, a female Pokemon breeder before, you would know that they likely have this team with the Watchog in the lead, and you could learn that and use it on subsequent playthroughs to make your time a little bit easier. It's not perfect in the way of preparing for things. You are still locked into a team, but it does impact likely what held items you, well, not what held items, but what order you would use your Pokemon in, who you would lead with, that kind of thing. I'm bored of this Pignati overheat. So badass. Wow! Oh, and the sizzle after the fact on both Pokemon to show that it weakens you as well. That's so neat. I don't use that move a lot, as you can tell. Whirlipede! I'll go Stone Edge. Your defense might be sky high, but my attack is sky high. And now those rocks are sky high. I threw them up. So there that is. $10,000? Not, not a bad money grinding place, actually. That was an easy battle. You're more impressive than I imagined. I'll give you one final hint that you might find useful. You encountered all kinds of trainers on your way here, right? Did you notice that the information each of them knew was different? Some know where the gate trainer is. Some know where a nurse is, for example. Try battling with all the trainers to find the best way through this place. Be on your way now. I look forward to hearing of all about your exploits. Back up we are from the shaft. Hey Blaze, looks like you completed area one. Here's a prize to commemorate your success. A protein. Areas one and two will always give you one vitamin for your troubles. And now you can challenge the next area after clearing. The following area will of course be a little bit more challenging. They'll use stronger Pokemon. And of course the rewards might go up. Not in this case though, you still get one vitamin for it. So we'll challenge this. If you were playing Black 2, this would not be White Tree Hollow, but instead Black Tower. Doesn't diff- oh. 
Oh, if it isn't the challenger that everyone is talking about. I heard you're stronger than you look. She looks pretty tough to start with. You're, you're still here, so I'll give you some advice. You know about the elevators, right? If you feel you can't continue any longer, come back to the elevator in the, in the area and return to the lobby. Any prize money you won in the area will be taken back, so it's important to know when to quit. Testing your limits can be a good thing, but don't overdo it. A Pokemon roguelike is so good, man. I love this whole risk versus reward thing, and do you think you can press on or not? If you were playing Black 2, you would not have White Tree Hollow, and instead you would have Black Tower, which is similar, just that you're going up instead of down into the ground. It's like a skyscraper that you're ascending through. There's also some differences in the items that are unlocked from clearing the areas. Here in Area 2, I think because this place is fairly simple, I'm gonna aim to defeat every single trainer on this floor. Should be simple enough with our levels and team the way they are. boss fight. Impressive to have made it this far without giving up, if you say so. Don't want all your efforts to be in vain, do you? Time to complete Area 2 and graduate from being a newcomer. I suppose the Pokemon Breeder rule is an exception if they're bosses. I was expecting the last one to have, you know, at least a Chansey or a Blissey on their side, even if they I knew that they did lead with a Watchog. Unpheasant! Moving up a little bit in the world here. I got a bird of my own. My bird was a bird before your bird was even born. Shoot it with an ice beam straight from the crotch, Harmony. Thank you. There it goes. I mean, it kind of is. There's like four hangy downies that are kind of like... I should never call those hangy downies. Oh my god. Audino. Audino is more physical than anything else. I think I'll just stay out, try my luck. I don't expect you to really have anything that I'd be afraid of. I got five other Pokemon anyway. Yep, go. Give us a nice experience yield. And electric. Gonna stay out, gonna try. You have no weakness anyway. I'm just as well off fighting you with anything else. And there it goes. Congratulations, you graduated from newcomer status. You still got a long way to go though. Good luck in the next area. This place is so fun. I, I like this idea so much. It's been a long time since I played it, so I was a little rusty on the details why I gave that guy a chance to explain himself. This is fantastic. Like I said, when you combine all of the different ways to battle in this game, it's better than any Battle Frontier. We're still seeing new ways to battle this far in. And they're great. After clearing Area 2, we're the hottest store in town. You're the only store in town. When people mention the famous store in White Forest, they're talking about us. You can, for now, you can get a Deep Sea Tooth for $1,000. This is based on the number of areas cleared. I'm going to DON'T BUY! In all caps. That'll expand as you, ex as you uh, go further and further into White Tree Hollow. I'll explain more about that a little bit later. For now... Our new medal! Undefeated Easy. That's for clearing areas two, three, four, or five while beating every trainer. Actually, no, nah, I'm gonna buy it. I, I'm gonna want this at some point or another. <laughs> Going to area three next, and what I'm gonna try to do this time is to win in as few battles and in few steps as possible. Have you come challenge the White Trello? I mean, I'm here for a different reason. I'm just in a journey to become stronger. Didn't think this place strange. I mean, it wasn't even here two years ago. It's full of mysteries, I'm telling you, whatever. I'm satisfied as long as I can continue my training. Anyway, see you around. For once, the gate trainer isn't told to us. He does have a point that this place was not here two years ago and it's this freaking big. Oh, this poor Wigglytuff. <laughs> this poor Wigglytuff, no! You poor thing, you! You're hurting your hand! No! I feel so sorry, four times! 
Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> This area is no problem, right? For you guys. I mean, hey, you have your Pokemon with you, right? Keep on going forward with your Pokemon. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you down below. Man looks like he's running for mayor. He's got like a sash on. I didn't stand a chance. The last trainer was in another league. Makes me jealous that someone else is here with so much natural talent and strength. Oh, well, enough of that. It's your turn next. Come at me. I'm not about to make your day any better, lady. I'm not about to make your day any better. Carly. Gosh, imagine having such a simple name spelled that complicated. It's like the backstory of a serial killer or something. Intimidate. Stoutland is to be feared, as I have said. I'm gonna start with a psychic and just hope that the level disadvantage is obvious. Yep, it is. Down you go. Emolga, that'll be nice and easy. Take that out with my real bird, because you're a fake bird. Just going around there. Those aren't wings, those are just flaps of fat. And then we got Levani. This will be, this is really simple. I could go for a quad weakness, but it's unnecessary. Levani's made of paper. No sense to risk the lower accuracy. Go down. That was three battles that I won that in. I don't know if it was within as few of steps as I would have liked. I wasn't really counting. I was just trying to be efficient. Strand and honor area completion of area three. I'll give you the hint to about area four. Starting with area four, the areas become much larger. That means it becomes even harder to find the gate trainer. Pay close attention to the hints that other trainers give you and do your best to find the gate trainer. Good luck. I'm excited to see how far you will make it. Hey, Blaze. For completing area three, we take one protein. And that is all. Please, 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 please tell me how I did. Pinpoint easy. I only got one, okay, so I did do it in as few trainers as possible. I was supposed to do that in 100 steps or fewer. I ran through area two a few more times and eventually got an awesome run where I had to pass by the gate in order to reach the uh, gate trainer in the next room. That gets us. 20 victories! No, not what I was thinking. Quick, clear, easy. That's for clearing areas two, three, four, or five in 100 steps or fewer. Two for the price of one, Grandma. Next, we move on to area four. Shouldn't be too hard just focusing on leveling up our pokes. I never say pokes. It usually bugs me when people say that, though, but here I am saying it. Heard a really strange story about this place. Apparently some conservation group did a thorough investigation of this place before opening it up to the public. I wonder why they opened up this place as a training facility. I guess it's because the place is so huge. You don't have to worry about other stuff and can focus on training. Anyway, see you around. Never thought there'd be lore for a battle facility. Usually it's just like, oh hey, we made this giant swirling vortex of death to battle in for the kids. Uh-oh. In this run, I confirmed that the Dragon Gem is consumed. Held items are not kept. I only got one of these left now. That's bad. Metronome for you, Missy. Actually, no, what am I doing? Personberry for you. I don't feel it necessary to show every single last battle that happens in here. We're drastically overleveled and it's not even gonna start being a challenge for a while. So I'll just keep it to the important stuff. With straight like yours, you might be able to get to the bottom. That sounds like an insult. <laughs> Starting in area four, our prize is two of a random vitamin instead of just one. And now we can go to area five. Y'all come back now. Hey, you made it to area five. Oh yeah, uh, I learned that the, one of the reasons why this place opened up is for us trainers. Apparently this place wasn't actually fully explored until uh, before they opened it up. 
They're letting trainers battle and train in here, but the real reason they open up this place is to have strong trainers explore the depths of this place. That is, trainers just like you, who have strong bonds with their Pokemon. I wonder if you'll ever make your way to the bottom. Well, I think I'm just about done training in here. For my next stop of my journey, I've decided to check out rumors about a building that was suddenly constructed in a certain city. Strength isn't something you can just achieve in, you achieve in just one day. Let's both do our best. So we're surveying this place. Cleared area five, two irons. So that your clothes are extra flat. Hey Blaze, I'm telling you, letting you in on a little secret here, but this facility actually contains some very special areas. I'm talking about area six and beyond. Did you ever wonder about this elevator? No, actually. Take a ride on it if you want to challenge area six and beyond. But be careful, areas six and beyond are outside of our administration. We don't actually know what kind of trainers are in there. Furthermore, it's rumored that areas six and beyond contain more floors per area than any er than the earlier areas. If you can't find the trainer you're looking for, try a different floor. Just use the elevator and move between the floors of an area. Anyway, thinking about challenging areas six and beyond, make sure you've trained your Pokemon sufficiently and are fully prepared. You come back now. Oh, this already. The Tree Hollow Key Hollow. We'll go into this a little bit later, but it's interesting that we have this now. More importantly, Tree Hollow Jr. for clearing up to Area 5 in White Tree Hollow. Area 6 and beyond has its own versions of those step and battle based challenges. We would need to clear one of these areas in six battles or less or clear it in within a thousand steps. Banga! Oh, hey, you made it this far, huh? You and your Pokemon sure make a great team. <laughs> I'll tell you, I tell you, it's the teamwork between humans and Pokemon that brought the world to where it is today. Throughout the history, we competed without each other to overcome our obstacles. <laughs> it may be that this place exists for so that we can experience that history firsthand. See you around, bub. Well, I was looking for you. I didn't get my battle, but I was looking for you. Starting in Area 5, there's checks for HM moves. Yeah, uh, I'm not bringing those with me. It technically will cost me more steps, I guess, and I probably will have to fight more trainers as a result. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to do this in as few actions as possible, see if maybe I can get the six battles medal or the 1,000 steps medal on my own. I just wanna have one clue to go off of for that gate trainer, you know? Gate trainer's mail, that's what I wanted. Better watch out, I'm not like the other Roughnecks in here, I'm telling you why. <laughs> I'm the gate trainer in this town. Saw the gate trainer on this floor. Wait, it's... Did I just... Did I just get both of them in one go? If it's this floor... Oh. Okay, no, I, okay, yeah, I, I was, I was mistaken, okay. The gate trainer you ask, it's a secret, but try it, try a room with two people in it. If only it were this one. <gasps> it's the gate trainer, oh man, I just did it, I got both in one try! You're the real McCoys! Because there's like two of them, so there's it's multiple, plural, and it's also the saying. I love doing a thing. Crap! I don't love misclicking the wrong move. Ah, oh, the tragic love story of falling in love with someone just after you punch their lights out and going, "Oh no, what have I done?" Anyway. 
Love effect doesn't stay in effect. I could, I could punch Hariyama, I guess. That fake out. I've noticed that the enemies are starting to land hits against me as of now, and they have good moves. It's just that, well, okay, maybe they don't all have good moves, but they do have some good moves. Their levels just really aren't there yet. They're still in the low 60s, and thus, usually a neutrally effective move will take them out in one go, even if they got loads of health, like old Tubbo there. Determination, looks like you've got it. Good luck. I give up. I didn't expect you to be this strong. I've had cops say that to me. <laughs> I'll open the gate for you. I just need to be careful not to fight that worker on the way back. Real battle awaits you. Find the boss train on this floor. Good luck. Go. Ah, right. There's multiple floors to some of these areas. That's why they're suddenly being like, oh yeah, this floor, this floor. And yeah, that's what they're talking about. All right, go. Go, go, go. I've already fought both of you. It's fine. And then we go up here. Oh, boy. Okay. You're playing with the big kids now. Oh, you're seriously aiming to advance to the next area, eh? All right. I'll see what you got. If you got what it takes, bring it on. <laughs> ah, the ace trainer is so cool. I dated you once in, like, a movie. I know it wasn't real. Don't, don't ship actors because you ship their fictitious characters. Man, don't do that. Toga kiss is pretty tough. That's, uh, I, I double took there at that level after I was just talking about their levels being kind of low a second ago. Extreme speed. What a wicked move. Go. Toga kiss is a freaking tank. I don't know if it's gonna go, quite go down in one shot. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Another thing that I've learned to fear is Pokemon with Intimidate. It makes a lot more sense for them to lower your stats than it does for them to buff their own because you're higher leveled and thus you'll take a bigger hit that way. I've had times where a Stoutland didn't even take like half damage for me even though I was like 20 levels above it all because it chopped my attack stat down. Getting that. Had a crawl. Don't have Psychic anymore on this Pokemon. I'm just gonna punch you and see what happens. You're a beefy bug. You're more special than physical. Oh! It's got a flame orb. Ooh. If we were equal level, that would be pretty tough. I'm just gonna send out Jade. I can blow on you and give the experience to basically anybody I want. It's 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 our. Right. In fact, it's a gas. Let's burn you. You can't burn me. I'm already burned. Yeah, well, you're double burned. Take you out. He doesn't even have anything to say. I like I like short speeches. I like no speeches even better. I give up. I give up. You're right. I guess it doesn't matter when it comes to Pokemon Street. You better keep your guard up. Train the man. Take it. Their lives battling. I look forward to seeing you where you can go. Well, uh, it's a good thing I didn't ship myself with you. What is our prize for Area 6 and beyond? One clever wing. <laughs> what? A clever wing that doesn't raise stats by as much as the vitamins do. I guess it does have some value in that you can use it after uh, the first 100 effort values in a given stat. And uh, I'm not, not feeling that one. What I am feeling is doing terrific and being commended for it. 50 victories and another medal, please, please. Pinpoint hard, six trainers or fewer and quick clear hard. That's almost every medal for White Tree Hollow already done. Uh... The next mission we're taking on in Area 7 is to clear uh, every single trainer battle within the area. And a nice low number like 7 sounds like a good bet to me. So we're gonna do that, just clear out this area, see what we can do. Probably gonna have to start fighting smarter rather than just leveling up whoever I feel like leveling up. It's getting to be about that time where the levels are gonna stack up against us. No cutscene this time, no lore. All right, we're in the big leagues now. None of that reading crap for us. Oh, ouch, Hitmonlee. <laughs> Getting stuck with your leg extended like that looks terrible. 
terrible. I was just like terrifying, but terrible, and I combined them and made a new word. Ah! This is how you go to other floors! I could not figure this out. I was running around looking for stairs. So areas are indeed multiple floors now. So here's a good tip, Aiden's dead. More importantly, our leftovers user is dead. So just swap that onto a Pokemon that could use that. Oh wait, you lose that on power that way and you might just not get hit. Uh, no, I don't think I could do that for Harmony. Nah, I'm gonna keep my stuff as is. But it is a good tip that if you got a health recovery out of one of your Pokemon and they die, you might as well just swap it. No! <laughs> I was trying to talk to her. Please be easy. I need, oh God. Uh. Wow, your psychic beat a Waylord in one hit. That's impressive. <laughs> nice one, Harmony. Good crit, good crit, good crit. Petrus is your name. I like how me, of all people, makes fun of other people's names. Yes, I am relieved. Give me sweet relief. <gasps> you didn't even have fully evolved Pokemon! You shouldn't have. I'm down to my last two here. I need this so bad if I'm gonna win. Harmony is our first to level 80. That should be every trainer. There were two floors. I ran through both of them twice. Hello, hiker. <laughs> Just right in the camera. Be honest, everyone wants to cuddle up that close to the hiker. We get a swift wing. Thanks. No, why? That wasn't every tra- No, I <laughs> to do all that over again. <laughs> Doing area six, not beyond. There was a third floor. I could select two other. Oh, I thought it was just this floor or that floor, like a real elevator. Oh, that sucks. It's fine though. This area is smaller anyway. Did I do it? Sound like Shia LaBeouf the way I said that. I didn't intend that, but it sounded like it after I actually said it. A health wig, thank you so much. I was watching some Pokemon videos in the background while this, and they mentioned that like, God, why do those wing items exist? They're so bad. And I'm like, I know. Out of the Pokemon Center. Thank the Lord Arceus above. That's. 100 victories! We've beaten 100 trainers in here! And another- Okay, good, good. I was so scared it was just gonna be that one. Undefeated hard! Yes! We are good to just rush through the remaining areas 8 through 10. I've realized that against teams that I can't really predict with our full team of 6, I want Harmony to have Energy Ball. We don't have a Grass-type move across this entire team. And if she can just swap out her moves, that would be for the best. I think I'm gonna... Oh, do we get rid of Ice Beam is the question. That's really good. Uh, I'll get rid of Shadow Ball for it. We already have multiple ways of dispatching Psychic and Ghost types. Thunderous! The boss led with a Torterra and he has a Thunderous as a second Pokemon. Can I? Yeah, I can outspeed you, good. 
Oh, we're in the big leagues now. I wonder if there's gonna be legendary Pokemon on regular enemies coming up, cause this is getting serious. And your last Pokemon is Arcanine. I'm just gonna go right for the Psychic. You don't even have Intimidate for your ability. Not that it would have affected me, but it's what I was expecting. All right, nice, good sweep. Harmony sweep. Ha, <laughs> your name is Harmon? Well, I'm Harmon E. That's why I won, cause I have more than Nilu. Even if you're already that strong, you still have your sights at higher. Just how far will you go? Will you rise to ever end? I hope you can achieve it. Well, I really want my descent to never end, rather, because, uh, you know, we're going down deeper underground. But it just doesn't sound as cool. Hey, hiker. For completing Area 3, oh. two rare candies! Oh, my gate trainer was the... Oh my God. It is this guy. It's the first guy on this floor. It can be the first guy on a floor. I've been wondering if that can really happen, and it can. We made it. I think you're boss number nine. I forget which area this is. I think it's nine. I hope it's nine. They've been taking forever. It's common for one area to take me about an hour to clear a Salamence. There it is. Okay. They mentioned that you were gonna have a Salamence. Uh, I should not have led with Jade, actually. You're, uh, uh, it's been like, it's been like 45 minutes since I read that and it all came rushing back to me. Um, you're probably gonna do some kind of physical dragon move. I'll swap for Pignati. That sounds best, because you'll probably do Dragon Claw, if I had to guess. Outrage, okay, it's, I'll just swap. Like, I just wanted you to hit some physical dragon move, get hurt with the Rocky Helmet. You're doing over half of my health. That's not good. I'll attempt the Stone Edge. Yeah, I'm not gonna outspeed that. I just wanna soak up these turns of, um, of outrage at this point. Hurt you with the Rocky Helmet twice. Maybe make you confuse yourself if you're unlucky? I am not lucky. Chances are you have a Persian Berry of some kind. Aiden can definitely take a hit from you, even if it's physical based. I have no doubts that Aiden can stand up to this. We'll do an Ice Beam and just finish you off. These dragons are so high level, their stats are getting to the point where I actually worry about a quad weakness maybe not taking them out if there's not a lot of oomph behind it. Fatigue, oh no, 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 you don't have Person Berry. You have a Yachi Berry, of course you do. It's kind of what I mean, is a lot of po- Come on! Really? If you could hit yourself in confusion right now, that would be amazing, in fact, uh I have no hope of surviving this unless you hit yourself in confusion, so I'm gonna go for acid armor. No, of course not. Why would you ever hit yourself in confusion? You're the AI. Strategy was good. This is getting tough. Um, all right, so you're confused. I did not go first. I'm gonna go harmony. You'll probably outspeed, probably. Harmony is by far our highest level because she makes such a good lead, just having so much type coverage on her side and being able to power through just about everything. She's got a lot of types that happen to be quad weaknesses of a lot of folks. Rike, oh, Rike, oh. It's got an air bolt. Frick, man. Are you serious? So I have to pop your air balloon. You're gonna go for an electric move. I have no doubt in my mind that you're going for an electric move. So we're gonna swap in Jade. I'm gonna go for an outrage of my own. I got a Persian Berry so I can just swing away for a while. Thunder, nice. If you have to have any electric move, I'm kinda glad that it's Thunder because that does miss a lot. Yeah, no! No, 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 no. <laughs> Magnet Rise with Air Balloon. That's your strategy, you ass. That is so mean. <laughs> so happy I didn't go all in on ground moves here, jeez. Okay, well I get that. Harmon, you don't have your Persian Berry. Oh no, you already popped your Persian Berry again. Oh, I'm forgetting things because I've been here for so long and I'm not thinking about it. You have pressure and I'm confused. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Outrage. Moltres is not that dangerous, trademark? 
wingspan is massive. Its sprite is majestic. One of the best Moltres sprites I've ever gotten. It's a lot better than the friggin' Heartgold Soul Silver one, where it just looks like a chicken that is to come out of the oven. Sky Attack. Power Herb. You have excellent taste on a favorite move. It's a 140 power, 90 accuracy flying team up! And it, oh, you snapped that in confusion, girl! And it's got a high critical hit chance despite its power, though, but we don't care, we win! That was not even the final boss of this place, and it was that freaking hard! What amazing strength! You might just have the kind of strength that I've been looking for. I felt the same kind of strength from a young man I battled some time ago. How did you come across such strength? Tell me your secret someday. Eh, I just became the champion of Unova, no big deal. Hi! Kerr! That was what I wished I said last time, so I made sure to save it for this time. Area 9! Only one more to go. Two, two muscle wings! You shouldn't have! Screw you, dude. I'm going, I need to save. I have not saved for like the last four hours and I am terrified and you can't save while you're in there. And I only ever think about it when I'm in there. Ugh. I'm very stressed. Nope. I was wondering if seeing Pokemon in there counted as seeing them for real, but I don't have Torterra here and one of the bosses had Torterra. So nope, seeing Pokemon in there, it counts as a battle facility in that sense, just not in every other sense. Here we are. Area 10. How bad could it be? I am tempting karma and or fate by saying that. This is widely considered the hardest part of the entire single player. It's pretty brutal, at least in the case of the Pokemon World Tournament. It's only three battles in a row that you have to win and you might just get lucky and you're not really out that much time if you fail. But here, this could go on for a long time. It's taken me an hour to beat the area before this. I'm gonna start off by getting a clue right here, just by battling some trainer, usually how I begin. Uh, I won't go back outside until my daughter apologizes to me. Did she send you here? There, <laughs> she ate my last rage candy bar, taste the anger. <laughs> I'm already, gosh, the fumes down here this deep into the mines must be really getting to this old timer. You can sort of see that it's evening right now uh, through the little bits in the background, that's interesting. So, this is what I love about this place. We get to we get to bring in our full team of six. I don't have to cut anybody from the roster or decide, okay, here's our three strongest Pokemon. Everyone can contribute. And I feel like the different rules have changed who's good. Harmony has been easily our best team member, but just because she has so many positive type matchups, she has an immunity to ground, she has a quad resistance. She can swap in against so many things. And then, um, I feel like Jade's a really good neutral matchup for a lot of things. She can just hit really hard on whatever she feels like. I'm gonna go for Flamethrower, actually, instead of uh, Earthquake, as Kling has got high defense. Uh, she's really useful. Uh, usually you were surviving my Earthquake, so I thought that'd be a good play. Hey, you just got Flash Cannon here, too. It's fine. Uh, and then, if there's one team member that I feel has not been that helpful, it's Lasagna. Lasagna's whole setting up and hanging on with Sturdy and all that stuff, in a place where you can't freely heal and have to find a nurse in order to do that, it's been pretty hard. It really adds up the damage that you take. I've only been busting out lasagna for emergencies whenever, okay, we have a chance to pivot right here and I can really take out something. That's when you want to use a Pokemon like lasagna that sets up a lot of gate trainer. It's a secret, but try a room with only one person in it. That could be on any one of these floors and we are not gonna know which until we just do. Um, that is a room with one person. You know what, before I walk away and try to, I've been usually going left to right, but I'm gonna just fight this guy here. Out of all the people in the world, Pokemon love me the most. Just this morning, I got electrocuted, bitten, and burned by Pokemon. Pokemon just love to play with me. <laughs> I bet you're super jealous. Again, the fumes down here in the mines, nothing you want to play around with. It's been nice and refreshing to have Pokemon uh, Liberito. Liberto, Liberto. It's been nice and refreshing having different Pokemon be useful because I feel like for a while, Pignati and McFly have been easily the worst members of the team, but down here, Pignati's been useful. He's got tons of health. His Rocky Helmet has been doing a lot of good use at just getting Pokemon chip damage to make them more easily KOable. He's got good type coverage. Stone Edge is a great move to have when you're fighting really powerful opponents. Jade, I'm loving it. I am loving it. I'm not loving this wall right here. You could probably take a 
Yeah, you're gonna be able to survive this outrage, and when you do, you're gonna use some kind of ice move on me. That's the downside of the strat. Yeah, I've seen this enough times to just know that was how stuff was gonna go. I have survived a few Aurora Beams down here. Nah, time six damage was too much. Specifically from Cloister, I can usually survive it. We'll go McFly right now. Aiden has also been similarly not helpful where, I mean, if, if, if somebody's using a water or an ice move and I can switch out, not in that case, but if I could, it's good. I like that. And setting up with acid armor is really nice against tough trainers, but I feel like I kind of just save him for very situational use cases. The different rule set, maybe let's see. Yeah, you're telling me the same thing I already knew. Thanks, bud. It could be a while before we run into anything here. I wanted to show you my run of the last floor. I don't know if I'll necessarily succeed, so none of you will have it. Uh, we'll go over this way. Go up. Just trying to do it in rows. Uh, can't be any of you people. You might have clues for me, but... Oh, boy, no! It's such a hard pattern to get through a room without getting seen. They all do a choreographed dance to screw you over. What do you got? You are... Size... Seeing a lot of those today. The thing that I've been scared of that I really, really don't want to see... Oh, do I attack you or don't I? You tend to set up with Rain Dance if you're predicting a switch. I've taken out Seismitoad with Pignati because I've called that correctly. I think I'm gonna go Aiden because you might just attack me and besides Aiden would benefit from the water as well. She, uh, he does neutral damage to you, not she. Dig. Uh, this is the highest difficulty, right? Well, if you're just gonna give it to me, then we'll go to Harmony and we'll do an energy ball next turn because I undoubtedly can outspeed a Seismitoad. Level 84, she is so strong. I'm a little worried that our team might be too strong for what we have coming up, but I say that now and uh, we're gonna be in freaking tatters by the end of this after we fought so many of these trainers. We're already down a team member and we're only a couple battles in. Nido Queen. I've seen them holding Yachi Berries as well as Piapa Berries. Those reduce the power of psychic moves. It could really go either way. Yeah, it's always the one you don't, it's always the one you don't call. They do eventually start reading your moves and uh, your Pokemon in battle facilities and just making it so the enemies pack things you really don't want to see. Predicting that you'll probably try to take them out with a psychic move and carry a bear for that. Walking around while spinning alone in a room. That's good to know because two behaviors combined, we can really know that it could be you. They haven't said if they're male or female. That's usually the other clue that they give you. Why am I leading with lasagna? That's not a good play. Again, lasagna is good for emergencies. You are sending out a Vaporeon. Aww, we can do some Vaporeon and Vaporeon action. Someone told me something about that and Vaporeon the other day, and I legitimately didn't get it, and they told me not to... I, I need to just stop talking here because I don't know what I'm talking about, and that's a really bad move when you're making videos for the internet. Surf! We don't use Surf around here, we use Scald. Or a Shadow Ball in this case. I could fish for a freeze. I think I'd rather go for the special drop though. Shadow Ball, sh <laughs> This is so stupid. Do you have do you have leftovers too? Uh if if he had leftovers, I was gonna be all I ship it. <laughs> okay, four hit KO. Fuhuko. It's obvious who the winner of this is going to be. You might have a citrus berry. That'd be a good item to put on Vaporeon. Got a special drop. No citrus berry, loving that. Get to be extra sure about our KO this turn. I, hmm. I will take damage if I do acid armor with a setup. I'm not at a point where I'm recovering health every turn, uh, net positive at least. So I'm just gonna go for it. Doing that. Who's up next? Slacking. All right, that's kind of bad. Uh, you could have a lot of moves, most of them physical. Oh God, who do I go for in this situation? I think I might stay out and hope for a burn. I wish I set up with acid armor now that I know what you have. Shadow Claw. 
I mean, all right. I'm gonna go for the Scald. If I could burn you, that would be excellent. I haven't really gotten a lot of burn fishes today. No. I could take you out this turn if I get the burn truant. For a second there, I thought I had water absorb and my heart jumped. Critical or burn, critical or burn. No, come on. Critical or burn, it's not that hard, Aiden. Earthquake. Can't even be mad, I've defended slacking in the past saying it's actually quite good, especially in single player. Speaking of quite strong, I gotta give it up for this team. They have been amazing in this late game stuff. We have had so little trouble, especially lately. Once the team really got going and Jade, oh, walking around spinning, okay. Um, once Jade got out of her awkward adolescent phase and really came into her own and figured out what her moves were gonna be, it just got so much easier. All right, so we're just gonna do -si do do that. All right, move on. Can't be you guys, because you're just spinning together. You're one person, you're a nurse. Okay, uh, do I pop this now? We're almost down two team members and Jade is definitely one of our better ones. I'll swap Pignati into the lead. Let's take it on. Can <laughs> I relieve to run into me? Sure, I'll help your Pokemon recover, but only if you beat me first. A bear tick. Not to jinx this. Because I'd really hate it if she had a jinx in this situation, but besides that, I've noticed that the nurses tend to have pretty weak Pokemon. In Area 9, they were using, one of them used a Nidorino on me when I've been fighting Nidoking and Nidoqueen tons up to this point. I get the feeling that they make them No, 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 Brick Break. Every Darmanitan I've run into up to this point has used Belly Drum on turn one, so I'm a little surprised to see that. Could you imagine how awful the Rocky Helmet would be if it actually did double damage to Pokemon that are weak to rock or quad damage to Pokemon that are quad weak to rock just like Stealth Rock does? That, my friends, would be a disgusting dead game. <laughs> Stealth Rock's already controversial enough. No, I'm gonna hold off on the recovery here. Wait until we're a little bit more dinged up. I'll just remember where you are. You're alone, no, you're not alone in a room. You're just a spinner. You got three spinners here. I could take you on for some easy experience points. Together with my Pokemon, I've overcome sadness and pain and come this far. I don't care what strong I'm gonna be, we must defeat you. Whenever you see a Pokemon breeder, specifically in White Tree Hollow, they're just such a welcome addition. You know that you can easily beat them as long as you have a solid physical move on whatever Pokemon you're leading with. It's a case where it becomes so, so easy to get what you want. If Aiden had a physical move and he beat you, he would definitely level up. But he'd probably gain a whole level off of you because you're equal to him in level. But Pignani can definitely handle it. This health bar is so slow. It's not Gen 4, so I can't complain more than once. Got that quota out. 13,000 experience points, hell yeah! And it's a Hepini. Usually is. Feeling tired? I saw a nurse to the north of here. They can give you hints on various other things too that are useful. Uh, oh wow, how did that, how did I dodge you? How did I dodge that spinner? That has gotta be the tightest anyone has ever dodged a spinner. It could be you that I'm looking for. Good job making it this far. I'm the gate, Whoa, already, already? She'll tell me what floor the boss trainer is on. Mitsugo, Mitsuyo, sorry, Mitsugo, Mitsuyo. Rhyperior, level 75. There is no doubt in my mind that you can survive this, yet you have a weird affinity for going for hammer arm instead of a super effective move, and that just makes you easy pickings if you do that. Regardless, I might be able to Rocky Helmet you if you don't Earthquake me. Earthquake me, yay! I wasn't too concerned because I have that nurse to look out for me. Pignati cannot take an earthquake from a Rhyperior, even if it is significantly lower leveled. We'll go Aiden. Aiden needs to level up. I don't like the fact that Aiden's been lagging behind an experience so much, because when Aiden's useful, Aiden's really useful. Scald that boy! Turn him to magma. Get 5,000 experience points. This would be a good place to attempt that 1 million experience. You might have to 
you might have to finish it with the autono method that I showed you, but as you get up into the high levels, if you can make it, it is a lot of experience points. I'll go Scald again. Poison Jab. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. We'll go Harmony. And then we'll do Psychic. There it goes! Lay it on me. Dude, you know, King's Cry is so badass. You're a lot stronger than you look. I'd say you're good enough. I'll open up the gate. In a place underground with flowers and roots growing around it. Thank you. Next opponent. On this... What?! I don't even have to go to another floor. I know that that can happen sometimes. Like that is just how it be sometimes. I'm just surprised that the last area came this easy. Um, okay, here's the question. So we're down three team members. I think a regular enemy could probably catch us off guard if we were unlucky. So I'm gonna go for the heal right now and just try my damnedest to avoid things, even though that's hard. No one's indicated to me where that door is. Go, 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 go down here. Just be very careful. I'm always scared to hold the run button because of how cyclists work, and even though there are no cyclists in here and the trainers just move at running speed, it's not a big deal. Oh, oh a Pokemon Breeder. I get a free level here. Sure, Pignati can take it. Let's just do it. There's no way they can stand up to any physical attack. Pignati gets the level 83 off of the back of that Shansi. Oh, Rose, not Rosa. Thought that was almost what my name was. I'll give you a hint. Apparently, the boss trainer is taking good care of a Latios. Thanks, lady. That's good to know. In all of my experience, they have always told me what Pokemon the boss trainer is going to lead with, and that I know to be no exception. I'm gonna say it's over here, because it doesn't feel like this area really connected to anything. It is. I was right. Roll for initiative. Let's take a look at this. I... Okay, how do I want to handle this? Aiden's got Shadow Ball. Alright. Jade is too valuable to lead with her when I know what's coming up. The lasagna sweep doesn't make sense to start with in this battle. You will understand why very, very quickly in this fight. McFly, I think, could be kind of useful when I least expect him to be. So I'm going to hold off on him. Pignati is a terrible Pokemon to lead with in the face of Latias. And I think Harmony is also too useful to potentially sacrifice with the moves that it has. I'm gonna lead with Aiden. I think that's my best bet. All right, I can't save. I have to, oh, wait, I can save. Since when can I save in here, excuse me? I thought this was like a battle facility where they kicked your ass out of town if you even thought about save scumming this. But like, if you're giving me the invitation, I'm gonna try it. I've come too far. What's the point of even forfeiting? Just save after every battle. All right, we've come all this way. Oh, you have Pokeballs around your neck. I thought you were like running for mayor. I didn't understand. Back in Grandpa Alder's house, we promised. <laughs> Remember, we're going to compete with each other and see who's stronger. I like a kid who gets straight to the damn point. Whoa, that is a badass sprite. I never see anybody like Benga or even talk about him. Boss trainer Benga is the final boss at the final floor. He leads with Latios, level 80, dragon psychic type with Levitate, holding a white herb, complementing its move Draco Meteor. Its other moves are Psychic, Icy Wind, and Thunderbolts. If this were Black 2, he would lead with Latios instead with the exact same moveset and exact same held item and exact same type and exact same ability. You understand. Wow, that uh, did not even do half. You did not use a good use of that. I thought you were going to go for the Thunderbolt and hope to paralyze me. You did not. 
That shows how bulky Latias can really be. That did only just barely over half. Well, I'm gonna go for it. See what happens. You can use Draco Meteor again for free effectively. Th Aiden! The Slayer of Gods, what can I say? That's amazing. Get your health back. You've earned it, my friend. Who's up next? Dragonite! Perfect! Dragonite is Dragon Flying type. Inner focus for its ability, holding a life orb. Outrage, Dragon Dance, Fire Blast, Focus Blast. In Black 2, he's got a Garchomp in its place, which has Dragon Ground type, has Sand Veil, also has a life orb, and it has Earthquake, Outrage, Fire Blast, Stone Edge. Here we go, Outrage! That is outrageous. Yeah, it's a physical attack. Aiden was just really sucking that up for someone else. Lose a lot, losing a little bit of its HP is nice. It's not Lasagna's time yet. I make it sound like he's going to die. <laughs> Jade, not super confident you're faster than a Dragonite. I don't remember Dragonite's speed offhand. Um, you're locked into a physical move, so I'm gonna go pick Naughty and use Stone Edge. Because at least if I miss or something along the lines, you're getting hurt really bad. Pick Naughty, did you just? Did you just? You just did. Pick Naughty. <laughs> Beating the biggest super boss all by yourself with a little help from Aiden. Volcarona is his last Pokemon and expect no less from Alder's Kin. It is level 80, bug fire type, flame body for its ability, holding a focus sash. No matter what, it's going to get a chance to use that. It's got Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, Fire Blast, and Psychic. The question is if it's going to use its free turn to go for, yep, Quiver Dance. You have to put up with a boosted Volcarona for at least one turn thanks to that annoying, annoying held item. Pignati Overheat. I did pretty good. I was mainly worried about uh, Stone Edge um, missing on my one and only turn. You're going for Psychic. Okay, I knew that was coming. I'm not so worried that I feel like I have to switch out to be optimal. You serve Whoa! Pignati, you the man! You got so much help! I'm so proud of you! He's speechless. The hardest super boss in the game. This is widely considered the toughest thing to do. And we just did it, only losing one Pokemon. I didn't even need the whole team. This could have been a team of three affair. Okay, well, getting here would have been a lot harder, so maybe that's not true, but yeah. So exciting, you and your Pokemon's combination. Amazing teamwork. Places where humans can't go alone. Places where Pokemon don't think to go. You can go anywhere with teamwork. <laughs> Between po trainers and Pokemon, like you and me. I'm glad you understand that now. Hey, hey, hey! You better come to Gramps and Grandpa's house. You know where it is, in Flockacy Town. I'll give you something awesome. It's a promise, okay? Man, less Beavis, more Tomura Shigaraki. <laughs> Hi, Kiker. Hey, Blaze. All of the areas. Can it be? Can that be true? You sure know how to impress. Congratulations! To commemorate your conquering the areas, please accept this prize! A... a Kelpsy bear? <laughs> what? Don't get... I'm just sitting here looking like a dumbass with a Kelpsy berry in my hand and you're telling me not to get complacent? Keep and aiming... What does that even do? Come back tomorrow, he says. What, what even is a Kelpsy berry? I thought that was a Pokeblock ingredient. Meaning that it doesn't have much... Oh, goody. It lowers attack EVs, but makes a Pokemon more friendly. It's not like I own a f It's not like I own my own freaking shopping mall that manufactures effort value. Duh. Well, okay. So now that we have cleared area 10, I'd like to talk to you about these guys out here. After clearing area two, we had this guy who would sell us deep sea tooth. He will sell us Deep Sea Tooth on weekends and Leaf Stones on weekdays. If this were Black 2, it would be a Protector on weekends and a Thunderstone on weekdays. Shop number two is unlocked from clearing area five. He's got a Deep Sea Scale on weekends and a Water Stone on weekdays. If this were Black 2, that would be a Metal Coat on weekends and a Fire Stone on weekdays. 
Yeah, I'll buy it. Why not? Shop numero tres. We buy in volume and pass the sales on to you. This guy opens up after clearing area eight, and he'll give you a dragon scale on weekends and a shiny stone on weekdays. In black two, this would be an upgrade and a dusk stone. Upgrades have been plentiful, so I can't say I feel all that into that as a prize, but it's there if you are so inclined. And the last one opens after clearing area 10. In white two, it's a King's Rock on weekends, which I like a lot, and it's an oval stone on weekdays, allowing you to breed ha uh, Chansey or Blissey to get Happini. In black two, that would be a dubious disc on weekends and a dawn stone on weekdays. Each one is decently useful. I wouldn't say that any either of them are outright useless. More importantly, however, for defeating Benga, it's a medal. The Tree Hollow Master. I just checked my notes, and that Eevee lowering berry had a chance of being a rare candy. And in fact, I got a rare candy for area nine. Shaking my head. <laughs> a Kelpsy berry was my reward for beating the hardest super boss in one of the biggest RPGs I've ever played. Oh, not all is lost. We were told to go back to Flockacy Town. <laughs> I know some of you have not seen this, and for those of you who have not seen this, I've been pretty excited. I've been so excited to show you this. Hey, 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 it was a promise between me and you. <laughs> we had the best match. This is to remember it by. Raise the Stratini. Hey, what's going on? Your part is- <laughs> Okay, okay, I got it. I'll wait here. Be right back. <laughs> I'm just gonna mope and look down at my shoe. They just had to sting me with that one last time. When you find something you want to do, you should take, take it on without a moment of doubt. Don't worry, you have Pokemon on your side, right? You already told me this. I thought you'd have something new to say now that I've beaten your grandson. Raise this Dratini! Blaze received Dratini. It may not know extreme speed, but there's something else about it. I'll leave it with you. Take good care of it. Please, I'll be waiting for you in the White Tree Hollow. He'll rematch you as often as you would like in the 10th floor of the White Tree Hollow. As for that Dratini, it's a shiny and it has another experience share. I got a calm nature with quick to flee. Ooh, minus attack, not so great. I wasn't really concerned with raising this thing, so I'm, I'm fine personally. If you're playing black two, he gives you a shiny gibble instead. And I gotta say, I love shiny gibble. I love shiny gabite, they're both pretty cool. Shiny garchomp, really just don't bother. Just keep it a gibble or a gabite. It's far nicer that way. Although if you transferred it to X and Y, you'd get a pink mega garchomp. That could be kind of cool. Remember that key though, all the way back from the midpoint of all this? We want to go into Univalink and send and receive keys one last time. The last few times that I showed you this, we unlocked absolutely amazing stuff. So let's see what it is now. Sent the tree hollow key to Flint. The Black City Key. <laughs> yep. We can now turn White Forest into Black City and Black City into White Forest. They're not version exclusive areas. We can basically go into settings and for at least this part of the game, decide what version we're playing. Universe Challenge. Trainers come from all over the world to challenge the Black Tower. Are you taking it on two blades? A difficult battle lies ahead. Take some amazing Pokemon with you. Black City, prosperous and vibrant. If you say so, this place feels so daunting. I heard strong people gather to train somewhere around here, so I brought my Pokemon. You're a trainer too, right? Let's cheer each other on. So Black City has its own stores, all of which are presently empty. Nobody is here at all. That's because we gotta go clear Black Tower now to fill out this marketplace and get its items. 
I managed to get a job at one of the best companies in Black City, which is full of amazing businesses. I'm gonna work really hard and move up through the ranks. Oh, that looks terrifying, how tall this thing is. How zoomed out it is, how small you feel. But oh, the shiny floor is nice. The soaring black tower, it's piercing through the end of the sky. It's also known as Univa's Challenge. It's an interesting building. I sense strong power that I've never felt before. I can't stop trembling. I wonder what's hidden in this Univa's Challenge. I've already done this legit with my team, and it's taken me all day. Plus, we're all over level 80. I don't want to be too over leveled for what we have coming up. I didn't save the hardest thing for last or anything, but I still want to at least have somewhat of a challenge with things going forward. I'm going to deposit all of you, and I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite art forms. My friends, there is an art to being a cheating bitch when you have been through everything and hell and back and done so much already and just spent so much of your time and you just feel done with everything. Not you, you're level 15. Uh. Oh. What? Hint medals. I know what this is about. Took me a second to realize it and then he started speaking. Proceed with your own power in the Endless Skyscraper. There's separate medals for Black Tower and White Tree Hollow. That is not the only reason why we are here, but it's close to it. There is a new super boss if you conquer this tower in the opposite version. I didn't come prepared for war. That was before. I came prepared for Armageddon. <laughs> If you're wondering how my Pokemon are level 100, the Mewtwo and the Deoxys and the Metagross, who's not level 100, those were all from events that I showed you in earlier videos. Latios and Curum, they, they got to level 100 because I've been preparing for this day for a long time and buying levels and Joint Avenue for them every day. And now they are maxed out. I don't have particularly good held items to give all of you. I'll, I'll think about what I could maybe give you here for a sec. Let's see. I think I'm gonna give Mewtwo the amulet coin because the trainers in here give good money and I still need some more money for all of the medals. I'll give the metronome to Latios. I like that. Kirim can take the Never Melt Ice. Being blunt, I don't really care what moves you have. You're all overpowered as hell and you'll have no trouble with this. Ice Burn, not into that. If this was a battle facility and I could bring in White Kyurem to that and I got the power herb back after every fight, absolutely I would try it. There's just not, you have Imprisoned as your fourth, maybe I do care about this. Hold on. Get Heal Pulse off of my Mewtwo. Recover is a nice move to have here though. Deoxys, ew. Psycho Boost is strong, but it can miss, and it'll lower my special attack stat if I use it. Mewtwo and Braviary can learn Rock Slide and cure him? Dio <laughs> Only Latios can! Took a while for my eyeballs to catch up with reality. No one can learn Scald. Thought cure him would kind of make sense, you know, with melting ice and stuff. I'll put Shadow Ball on Deoxys here in place of Hyper Beam. As awesome of a move as Nasty Plot is on most Pokemon, on Deoxys it's not so awesome. We're... we got like 20 defense and 20 special defense and not much more HP. If we get hit by anything, we're likely going down, so I'm just going all in on type coverage with Deoxys. His attack power is high enough already, you don't need to freaking buff it. Welcome! This is Univus Challenge, the Black Tower. Please let me know what you'd like to do, whichever you'd like to challenge, there everyone. I hate to tell you Black version 2 players, but White Tree Hollow is objectively superior. It's exactly the same except for aesthetic, and I guess the nurses are instead doctors. The only actual gameplay difference is you don't get Pokemon breeders that always use Happiny, Chansey, and Blissey. That's the only difference. So if you don't care about the items sold in the Black Tower shops, then you have no reason to play this besides personal challenge and medals. But medals are enough for you, right? Any other medals that we've talked about, like beating all of the trainers in a given area, doing it under a certain number of steps, beating it under certain numbers of battles, all of those things, unique battle backgrounds, cool. Um, all of those things work in either Black Tower or White Tree Hollow. The only ones exclusive to one or the other are simply just getting to specific areas. Ray Rizzo helping me out, man. Get out of here. 
I'm gonna level up this Metagross as best I can because it's not so uh, high up there in the levels. I'm not gonna make you watch through the same thing again, basically, so I'm gonna have an easy time with this. It's not going to be that big of a challenge, so I'll meet you back here when we hit a milestone. <laughs> Metagross sounds like a train. I'm here. I'm ready to conquer the tower, just like I conquered the Earth's crust. Here's how we're doing. So we're almost Midas and Aiden, and we're almost minus a McFly. Pignati is going to be bordering on useless in this fight, so I've decided to lead with him. Okay, all right. In we go. You're our boss, just a veteran trainer. She's no slouch though. I'm here battling everyone in sight in order to become the strongest trainer. You're here for the same purpose, right? What does it mean to be the strongest? That's the question in your head, right? You came here for an answer, right? I think our battle may bring us one step closer to finding out just who is the strongest trend Unova. It's too bad no one is here to watch our battle. So but let's have a good one. This place looks like a where you would wait for a table in a Chinese restaurant. Let's start this battle! Ouch, regular trainer battle theme, lady. You deserve better. Janna. Okay. Suicune is level 80 water type. Pressure for its ability, holding a Ganlon Berry. And it's got Calm Mine, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Mirror Coat. You're either gonna do Calm Mine or Hydro Pump against Pignati, and I'm willing to bet it's probably gonna be Hydro Pump. So I'm gonna swap into Aiden and hope that I get lucky getting a water absorb, getting a bunch of my health back, because as long as I have Aiden out, you basically can't do- No! Oh, that's bad. That's really, really 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 bad. You are plus special attack, so you might actually be able to score a KO even with my leftovers buff. Shadow Ball. You're doing Calm Mind again. Okay. You basically can do nothing to land a scratch on Aiden. You could do Mirror Code, I suppose. But if that's the case, I'll probably just... You know what? I'm gonna Scald. I wanna do Burn Damage. Calm Mind. You're just setting up endlessly on Aiden. We're almost out of red health. I thought using Pignati as bait or a... Uh... Bacon would be a good- Yes! Yo! What I say, what I say, what I say, what I say! You're gonna trigger that Ganlon Bear. I forget what stat that raises. I think it's a defensive one, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go for acid armor and just set up against you while you take lots and lots of burn damage. Icy wind barely hits for anything. It's a low- Yeah! Wow! Look at, look at me strategizing like a big boy. This is- <laughs> this is going remarkable. Aiden, just keep on setting up. Keep on setting up. All you gotta do is do one more acid armor and you're a plus six. That burn's doing good damage. It's better than what we could do on our own. So do it again. Whoop. Mew. Your special defense is so damn high at this point that... I could probably fish for a special drop with uh, Shadow Ball to make you go down a little faster, even if you would do Mirror Coat. Let's try it. There's the Ganlon Berry. Defense. Mirror Coat. Ah, okay. I probably shouldn't be attacking you at all. Not like it does much, but why not take additional health over what I could have? You're gonna be gone next turn. We'll waste a turn on acid armor. Calm mind! <laughs> it's just like, just breathe, Suicune. Just breathe, Suicune. It'll be over soon. You'll get through this. I promise. <laughs> Your moveset is laughably awful for what, uh, what we have. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I could have had a little more health, but it's fine. Aiden gets to level 80. Latios! is Dragon Psychic type, levitate for its ability, holding a white herb so that it can get its stats back from Draco Meteor. Its other moves are Psychic, Icy Wind, and Thunderbolts. 
I'm gonna go for a good old fashioned ice beam in this situation. What'll it do? What'll it do? What'll it do? Nice. Okay. Getting back your attack. And there we go. Ice him. We might not have another turn in us, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. You're surprised you didn't go for Thunderbolt. You're lowering your stat to a actually kind of dangerous degree now. All right. Um. I'm feeling a little daring, so Pignati it is. At minus two special attack, you can probably take a Psychic from that thing. My moves are not effective on this situation at all. <laughs> What'll it be? Not even half, Stone Edge it is. Critical hit. We get to level 84 off of the back of that bird. And your last Pokemon is Heatran, Fire Steel type with Flash Fire holding an air balloon. And it's got Overheat, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Scary Face. Chances are you'll be able to take me out no problem. I'm just gonna stay out and go for the Brick Brick. I outspeed you, which is nice. Heatran is decently fast, not super fast or anything though, but I was expecting at least, ah! <gasps> wow, Pignati! This furthers the fact that you're amazing in some battles. Some battles. But when you're amazing, you're really amazing. So strong. I've never met another trainer as strong as you. That was the most intense battle I've had in my entire life. Did you get a glimpse of what it means to be the strongest? I think that you may have a chance at achieving that. This veteran will be here anytime that you clear Area 10 in either the Tower or the Tree Hollow in the future. They're the most remote super boss for sure and probably the least talked about. Blaze, excuse me. Uh, I swear I didn't quit without saving. Congratulations on completing Area 10. Please accept this honor and accomplishment. Agrippa Berry. Dude, my Snorlax eats like 50 of these for breakfast every morning in Pokemon sleep. That's not a prize. Out we are into the thick of it once again. We want to go to the Pokemon Center. As for our achievements, there's achievements. Tower Junior, Tower Senior, Tower Master. That's every single medal that is related to Black Tower and White Tree Hollow, except one. Remember how there was a medal for beating 20 trainers, then 50, then 100? There's one more tier. You have to defeat 1,000 trainers in the Black Tower and White Tree Hollow alone. This is one of the worst medals in the game and I don't have a strategy for it other than just playing it a lot. You could do the lower floors, I guess. You could train up some Pokemon on Pokemon breeders. You probably wanna do it in White Tree Hollow because it has better experience points. To put into perspective how unfair this is and just how poorly thought out, I've been playing this game a hell of a lot. We have nearly 100% completion. In the entirety of this playthrough up to this point, I have participated in 611 trainer battles across everything in the game. Even if it was a thousand trainer battles period, never mind in just this one side mode, that would be absolutely brutal. And yet it's confined to this one side mode. I would believe that about two to 300 of those battles are from Black Tower and White Tree Hollow because we got the 100 medal pretty early on but without even clearing the first one. It's just not well thought out at all, and I'm gonna be blindly grinding this off screen for a long time if I wanna get it, which I do. All right, well, we have gone deep into the earth, going where no one has gone before. We battled Banga. We turned white into black, black into white. Climbed up into the sky through this mega tower. It was a pretty full day. Hard to believe it was all just one. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, it's the grand finale. See you guys then.